I couldn't help but notice that most of the big television networks broadcast their New Year's Eve specials this Friday from Republican states because of the lockdowns in New York. CBS held theirs in Nashville, NBC in Miami. Basically, it was just Anderson Cooper and his boyfriend in New York in Times Square. Interestingly, however, this led to perhaps the only truthful thing ever to be mentioned on CNN in years. After four years <laughs> of the, the crappiest term as the mayor of New York, the That's only thing the that year. Democrats and Republicans can That's agree how, on I mean, is, is what a horrible mayor he has he... been. Wow. So, sayonara, sucker. <laughs> that is true. But the new boss may be the same as the old boss. Eric Adams was sworn in just seconds into the new year, right after the ball dropped. And then he immediately tweeted out his first two executive orders as new mayor. Quote, the first executive order will continue the existing state of emergency orders put in place by the previous administration. The second order will extend the key to the city order, which requires proof of vaccination for several indoor settings. That's right, the mandatory social distancing and vaccine passports will continue in New York because that's what you get when you vote for a Democrat. He's black, so if you have a problem with that, <laughs> you're a racist. It was very fitting, however, for the Clown News Network to feature a clown during their coverage, which Andy Cohen appeared to start groping, and then asked if he was gay too. Everyday people making a difference in the world. We made it easy for you to support any Are of their gay? incredible organizations. A long time sponsor. Over on ABC, Ryan Seacrest gave airtime to a special New Year's Eve propaganda video by old Joe and his caretaker. It got even more cringeworthy, however, when a supposed man proposed to his girlfriend at the stroke of midnight, and then they celebrated with a kiss while wearing their masks. You should have went to Florida, bro, like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, whose district is in New York, but she fled to the free state of Florida for New Year's Eve. There, she was photographed with her boyfriend, who obviously has a humiliation fetish because of his white guilt. When she began trending on Twitter for people noticing that she fled her own state and district for Ron DeSantis' state, she responded, tweeting that Republicans are just mad that they can't date her. Actually, the only person I can think of who would want to date you is Chunk Uger over at the Young Turks, who has a thing for horse faces. Now that we're into 2022 and almost two full years into the pandemic, I actually think that the lockdowns and the corona craziness, the mask mandates, may actually begin to be lifted because the Democrats are starting to think about the midterms coming up here in November. You probably heard that the CDC just changed their isolation guidelines from 10 days now down to five if you happen to come down with the coronavirus. Only five days. And CNN's communist contributor, Dr. Wen, said something about masks that I can't repeat. I probably shouldn't even play the clip, otherwise YouTube will take this video down. We'll just have to wait a little longer until Dr. Fauci finally admits the obvious, and then we can all openly talk about it. I certainly don't want to get banned the first week of 2022. Speaking of censorship, however, Dr. Robert Malone was just banned from Twitter. Not suspended, permanently banned. He's the guy who helped invent the mRNA vaccines, and he was banned for supposedly spreading vaccine misinformation. He's on Gab, however, and has been on Gab for some time, but no mainstream media outlet or brand name conservative will mention that. They just pretend like you'll never hear from him again, as if Gab doesn't exist. They're afraid to talk about it, let alone join Gab, because they're afraid of being labeled as being part of an extremist platform. Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene was also banned from Twitter yesterday. Not just suspended, she's been suspended many times. This is a permanent ban on her personal account. So far, her government account is still up. It remains to be seen whether or not that'll be taken down or whether Twitter will allow her staff to still tweet updates on her behalf. Being a true America First patriot, she's been on Gab now for almost a full year. As usual, Twitter won't say specifically why she was banned, only that she was posting medical misinformation, which appears to be statistics that she was taking directly from the VAERS website, the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, which is run by the CDC. Just like my favorite independent television station here in San Diego, KUSI, was censored by Facebook and Instagram for posting information about COVID taken directly from the CDC's website, 
Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene isn't allowed to take statistics or figures from VAERS website and post that. So now a seated member of Congress has been banned by Twitter under the leadership of the new CEO, Parag Agrawal, the Indian immigrant who, instead of assimilating to American culture and values, still holds on to the ideology of the upper caste members from his country. A lot of people joined Getter yesterday, the social media platform launched last July by Jason Miller after Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dr. Robert Malone got banned from Twitter, including Joe Rogan, who made the announcement on his Twitter account yesterday. Joe had just interviewed Dr. Malone on his podcast, and now he too is getting concerned that he may be banned from Twitter because of his stance on the pandemic and vaccines. And in case you missed my previous report on President Trump's forthcoming platform, Truth Social, he was previously in talks with Jason Miller, the founder and CEO of Getter, to either acquire that platform or to make that his home base. They didn't come to an agreement. I have a feeling that Jason Miller probably wanted too much money, so President Trump passed. I'm not 100% sure, but all signs point to President Trump doing a deal with Parler, making that potentially his new home base since Melania recently quietly joined. So 2022 has started off like a bat out of hell, and the one year anniversary of January 6th is only a few days away, and so of course the endless coverage has already begun and will continue daily for the next three years. And don't think that the media has gotten over that let's go Brandon prank call to Joe Biden on Christmas Eve. Let's go Brandon isn't about what you feel about supply chain issues and gas. It is the cry of insurrectionists. It is the cry of people who want to violently take over this country and oppress anyone who is not like them. And that's what makes this dangerous. And to the degree that Joe Biden can laugh it off or anything else like that, that's fine. But I hope that we have a Justice Department and an FBI and a CIA that investigate where the anger that leads to these kinds of statements comes through because these people have already attacked us with guns. You think they're going to come back and do something less aggressive next time if they feel they can speak this way to the president? I don't think so. <laughs> it's the battle cry of the insurrection and it's dangerous. Great. Now Big Tech could probably start banning us just for saying that. Like they do, people who dare to ask the wrong questions or have the wrong opinion about the outcome of the 2020 election. Might be a good time to order your Let's Go Brandon shirt from my online store at markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Or if you prefer a slightly stronger message, I'm sure you'll enjoy an F Joe Biden shirt, wanna buy a vowel, or an arrest Dr. Fauci shirt, both of which were banned by my t-shirt distributor immediately after I released them. But they're in print again for now, so get them while you can. Like all of my designs, they're available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below and check them out.